okay, I've got an NXP IMX7 called a Smart Sabery, uh, Saber board, and I've connected up the HDMI signal to an Eli 7 inch Hybrite, and then the USB comes into the Eli, and I've already powered the 7 inch uh, Eli up, and all I'm going to do is connect power to the uh, IMX7. And within about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so, we ought to see a boot up on the screen. And there it goes. It's a pretty fast boot. Now it's got a touch screen that wants to be calibrated. I'm just going to let it time out. I don't feel like doing it. Kind of a lazy answer. But anyhow, so here we're seeing this is out of the box. This NXP IMX7 works fine. And I will bring it up and you can see the touch interface work just fine out of the box. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the Eli 7. This is an IRHW, which is a resistive touch screen. And I'm going to plug in the 12.1 inch that's just coming to market. Sorry about that. Looking low. I think that one's backwards. Now it's backwards. Doing this one-handed, by the way. Okay, so I plug it in, make sure all my connections are tight. Most of the time I find it's something silly like that. It stops us from having a good start. What a few seconds. By the way, it's very unusual to change a display in the middle of something. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the power from the Sabre board and Plug it back in, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and as we can see, in under 10 seconds, uh, the kernel is booting up, it comes into the same touch screen uh, type interface. Now notice, we didn't change anything, and you can see right off the bat where this touch is and where the center is that the IMX7 board has adjusted the display resolution to be the correct display resolution and we're running. Very cool. This is how Eli works. Just plug it in and it works.